Welcome everyone to Brick Foundation. We have a lot to get to today. If you didn't know, today was the official release of the Lego Titanic, and I have an interesting story on that one, but more on that in a little bit. We also get a first look at the Lego City Mobile Crane, and one of the gift with purchases for Black Friday has leaked. And lastly, the Bricklink Designer Program Round 2 kicks off tomorrow. So let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and get started. Let's first talk about today, which was the official release of the Lego Titanic. Many of you will understand how excited I am for this, as I called Lego stores last night to see which stores would actually have inventory. Now luckily, one of the associates was very nice and thoughtful and let me know I wasn't the only one calling around and asking, and if I wanted to secure myself a Titanic, better get there early. Now how early was really the question, and he said, well, let's just say Starbucks opens at 6 a.m. Took that as a sign. They also let me know that they had about 20 in stock. So I set my alarm at 5 a.m. and I went. I got to the store this morning about 6 a.m. and from the looks of it, I was the first one there. However, once I grabbed a coffee, came back, I was now fourth in line. Now, once there was about seven people in line, mall security told us we weren't allowed to sit down. So we all did what we were told and started standing. On the next go around, mall security told us we can't wait in front of the store at all. So we should wait across the way next to an exit. So we also did what we were told. As we were waiting, several people asked us what we were waiting for and funny enough, some guy just walked through, overheard our conversation, and was so curious to the fact of what was going on, he just decided to wait with us. Now the line was roughly 12 to 13 people long at this point, and on Mall Security's third round, they now decided we weren't allowed to be inside the mall at all, that we needed to be outside. And if anyone knows Houston Galleria, waiting outside is not an easy task. Luckily, a Lego associate was around this time, and instead of having us go wait outside, they were gonna make tickets and pass them around to everyone that was in line. So 20 tickets for the 20 available Titanic sets. At this point, it was around just past 10 a.m. and We wouldn't have to stand around anymore. I was happy about that. Me and my girlfriend were able to secure ticket four and five. So thankfully I was able to secure one for myself and her. And here it is. Now guys, I have something very special planned for doing this unboxing and build. More on that on another video. Let me know in the comments below who was able to secure themselves a Lego Titanic at a Lego store today. Next up, Lego City an image of a retail display for the Lego City Mobile Crane set number 60324 was leaked early this morning. The set will actually contain 340 pieces and will retail for $40. Now it looks like we'll be getting two construction worker minifigures in this set and the crane will have plenty of functions to go along with it. Now I'm not really into Lego City, but I actually might pick up this one. Next, we have our first glimpse of an upcoming Lego Black Friday gift with purchase. This is a good one guys. Set number 40484, Santa's front yard can be seen here. Piece count will be 317. You're gonna get one reindeer, two trees, and an elf minifigure. I also love the backdrop of this set with the moon, stars, and the trees in the background. I have to say, Lego did a good job on this one. Now, there's still no word on the amount you'll need to spend to qualify for this gift with purchase, but I'm sure we'll learn that shortly. Now remember, there's still a rumor of one more Christmas gift with purchase that we haven't seen yet. And that is set number 40489, Mr. and Mrs. Claus's living room. Hopefully, we'll get a sneak peek shortly. And lastly, round two of the Bricklink Designer Program will kick off tomorrow. Here's a quick rundown of the nine LEGO Ideas 10,000 Club member projects. First project we have is Mountain Windmill at $179.99, so 180 bucks for that one. After that, we have Modular LEGO Store for 180 bucks as well. I think I'm gonna have to pick up this one. After that, we have Science Adventures. This is gonna retail for 35, so 36 bucks actually. After that, Seasons and Time Calendar. This is actually a set that I was hoping that was gonna get picked by Lego and it's here. It's gonna retail for $250. That's a little pricey, but that's a tough one. I'm gonna still have to decide if I wanna pick that one up. After that, we have Retro Bowling Alley. This is gonna be for $230, quite expensive. Moving on to one of my favorites out of this whole lineup, it's gonna be the Ruined House. I for sure will be supporting this one. It's 300 bucks, it's expensive, but I love the way this thing looks. After that, we're gonna have Clockwork Aquarium at $65. Quest Builder at $260. I don't even know anything about this, so this is not gonna get my vote. And finally, Venetian Houses. This is gonna retail for $290. I'm sure this is gonna be a good seller. It's modular, people love modular buildings. So there you have it, all nine. Now remember, the first five to reach 3,000 pre-orders will actually be made into production. The rest of them, unfortunately, will not be made. That means four of these sets are not gonna make it. I'm hoping the Ruined House makes it through. Round two officially kicks off at 12 p.m. Pacific time, which is 2 p.m. Central time for me. 
So join me tomorrow for my live BrickLink Designer Program event, tomorrow at 1.45 p.m. I hope to see you there. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you like this kind of content, like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for all the latest LEGO news. And I'll see you guys later.